A Smyrna woman faces murder charges after a deadly overdose last year. Last March, police were called to the sleep in on Highway Boulevard. Officers say a woman died from a drug overdose. After an investigation, a grand jury indicted Kristen Tweed. She was arrested this week. Tweed is charged with second degree murder and felony drug sales. Local health experts say a new drug stronger than fentanyl is now in the hands of Tennesseans. News 4's Marissa Sulik has been looking into this. And Marissa, has this opioid been detected in the metro area? Well, Marius, I talked with health experts here at the Metro Nashville Public Health Department, and they tell me the drug protonidazine has not been detected in Middle Tennessee. However, it has been detected in East Tennessee, and they say it's just a matter of time before it's found here. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's my baby. Frankita Davis was Betty Davis's daughter, a daughter she lost last year to fentanyl poisoning. It's not an accidental death. My daughter didn't accidentally kill herself. Fentanyl is the main driver of drug overdoses in Nashville. But the Metro Health Department warns of another synthetic opioid many, I haven't. like Betty Davis, don't know about. It's called protonidazine. Because someone else is going to feel the pain that I'm feeling if we're not educating our people as to the poison. And it's been reported to have a potency three times that of fentanyl. Josh Love with Metro Public Health says this drug is also 50 times more potent than heroin. If one does overdose, Narcan may only work to an extent. Given the high potency of substances that we're encountering, i.e. fentanyl, it might take more doses to revive an individual, unfortunately. Love says protonidazine has not been found in the metro area yet, and it may never be. We don't know if protonidazine were we're seeing a few cases in a, one part of the state, whether it's going to take hold or not. Um, so that's what you're seeing here is us really trying to stay on the front edge of what we're what we're seeing. And that's what Betty Davis wants to see. So others don't have to say goodbye to their children the way she did. I thank God she told me she loved me seven times before she left my room. And the next time I seen my daughter, she was transitioned. Now, because protonidazine has not been detected here in Middle Tennessee, health experts here at the health department say that their main concern is still fentanyl poisoning at this time. Marius.